I have a multimeter, I have a box, which is a capacitor and a resistor, which can be seen at the back side that is already connected. And I have a power supply, and we have the connecting leads here. Now, I'm going to start connecting my circuit. First, I'm going to use this red, ca red cable to connect the positive of the power supply to the positive side of this capacitor. Next, I'm going to use this black cable to connect the negative side of the power supply to the negative side of the capacitor. Next, I'm going to connect the positive side of the capacitor to the multimeter. And next, I'm going to connect the negative side of the capacitor to the common of the multimeter. Since the power supply is off, we can see the voltage of the, across the capacitor is quite low, 0 0.020 volts. So if I turn on my power supply, the capacitor will automatically charge to the full value, so which is 6.429. The next part is to take out the positive part of the power supply and let the capacitor discharge. But we are going to use a timer to actually record the voltage drop across the capacitor every 20 seconds. So at T is equal to zero, the capacitor is charged to 6.429 volts. So we will write down that value at T is equal to zero, 6.429 volts is the voltage across the capacitor. So I will start my timer simultaneously at the same time as I'm taking out the positive of the power supply to the capacitor. Point five zero. So at 20 seconds, the value across the capacitor is 2.50 volts. Next, we will take at 40 seconds, 60 seconds, 80 seconds, 100, 120. Three, two, one. 1.05. Zero point zero two zero. By now, the capacitor has fully discharged like we saw before turning on the power supply. So this is the end of the first part of the experiment.